the associative properties, um, we'll go over some examples here. Um, before we dive into actually using the associative properties, we need to review just work, the basics of working with parentheses. And working with parentheses, um, well, let's just go over a couple examples. If you have 3 times 4, and then you have an exponent, you're going to do whatever is inside the parentheses first, if possible, and then do the exponent. And I say if possible, um, just in case there's a variable or something, you, you won't be able to uh, multiply that out unless you know what the variable is. But in this example, you have 3 times 4, so we'll do that first, 3 times 4, which is 12. And then we're going to use the exponent. So the exponent tells you to multiply whatever is inside the parentheses by itself. And you keep on doing that. The, the exponent tells you how many factors there are. In this case, there's two. So you do 12 times 12, and that's one factor, and then there's the second factor. And 12 times 12 is 144. Um, if you're good with your multiplication tables, you should already know that. Otherwise, you can write it out and do the multiplication this way. 2 times 2 is 4. And then 2 times 1 is 2. And then you bring down a 0. And you'll do 1 times 2, which is 2, and 1 times 1, which is 1. And then you'll add those. And you'll get 144. OK, that's one example, um, working with parentheses. Let's do another example working with parentheses. And we'll do 3 times 5 well, this one doesn't have parentheses, but let's do 3 times 5 squared just to show a, a different example. Now, in this case, we don't have parentheses, so we're going to just focus on the exponent first before we multiply. Okay, because if you remember um, order of operations, you, you work with parentheses first and exponents before you do any multiplication or division. So we can rewrite this as 3 times... 5 times 5. Okay, so the, the exponent of 2 tells you that 5, the base, is going to be multiplied by itself. This The exponent says there's two factors, so you write 5 twice here. So you do 5 times 5, which is 25, and then times 3, which is 75. And then with, with the rule in uh, multiplication, it doesn't matter which order you multiply them in. So you could, you could do the 3 times 5 first and get 15, and then multiply that by 5 to get your 75. Um, I like to multiply the 5 times 5 first because 25 is really easy to multiply by 3. And that's going to be your answer is 75. Okay, one more example using parentheses, and I'll change the color. We'll do 5 minus 1 squared. Okay, in this case, we are going to do whatever is inside the parentheses first, and then we'll square it, or we'll multiply it by itself. So 5 minus 1 is the same thing as 4. And you can rewrite this as 4 squared. But that's just going to be 4 times 4, which is 16. OK, so that's working with parentheses. Now let's evaluate some expressions when you have a variable. And this, this will also be uh, working with parentheses or order of operations with exponents. Let's try 4y squared minus 5. And we're going to say y equals 3. 
So in this case, we're going to substitute the 3 in for the y. So now we have 4 times 3, and all of that is squared, minus 5. So like we did in the other examples, we do everything inside the parentheses first, and then you do the exponent. So 4 times 3 is 12, and that's going to be squared, minus 5. And now we can do the exponent, and then we'll do the subtraction after that. So 12 squared, like we did in this other problem, we already know it's 144. And then minus 5, which is going to give you 139. So that's your answer for that one. Okay, let's make some room. And at this point, we can, we can kind of dive into, here, let's make some more room. We can talk more, more about the, associ the associative properties. <clears throat> so using the associative property, um, that just means we can, we can move the parentheses around if, if you have uh, all addition or all multiplication. So as a reminder, 3 plus 7 plus 5 can also be written as 3 plus 7 in parentheses and then plus 5. Okay, so it doesn't matter when you have all of the same addition. If, it's, if your operation is all addition, you can move the parentheses. You can rewrite it as an equivalent expression like that. And then um, to review, that's the associative property of addition. The commutative property of addition, that simply says that 3 plus 7 equals 7 plus 3. So you can actually change the order which is kind of what you're doing with the associative property. The, you're using the parentheses to change the order, whereas the commutative property, commutative, the commutative property, you actually reverse or you, you change the order when you're adding. And then that's if you're working from left to right, you would go 3 plus 7 and then 7 plus 3. Okay, so sometimes you're actually going to to use more than one property. So you can use multiple properties together to write equivalent expressions. So an example could be, and I'll change the color again. An example could be, if you have x, whoops, that didn't actually change the color. If you have x plus 5, and that's in parentheses, and then plus y, that's going to be equivalent to x plus 5 plus y. Okay, so in this case, notice everything's in the same order. You have the x first, then the 5, then the y, the x first, then the 5, then the y, but you just move the parentheses. So that's using the associative property. Now we could also use the commutative property and, and write another equivalent expression. So using the commutative property, we could write x plus y plus 5. So we're using the commutative property actually inside the parentheses here and changing the order. And these are all equivalent expressions. They all equal the same thing. And in, in the next video, we'll, we'll just continue to do some more examples of this.